Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is another young man that you all know, also associated with the program. Here he is, the one and only Max Bygrave. <laughs> Changed our local pally into a bowling alley. Now things ain't what they used to be. There's tits with drain pipe trousers and dips in coffee houses, and things ain't what they used to be. It used to be fun. Dad and old mum paddling down south end, but now it ain't done. And never mind jump, Paris is where we spend our outings Once our beer was frothy, but now it's frothy coffee Well, things ain't what they used to be Woman stopped me in the street the other day She didn't know me from Adam, except that I had clothes on So she said, she said, excuse me, she said, we are having a national survey Do you think the youth of Great Britain today are degenerate? According to this survey, 3% said yes, they are degenerate. 2% said no, they are not. And 95% said, well, what's degenerate like? You know, <laughs> they, they were trying to find out whether the youth of Great Britain today are any different to what they were 50 years ago. Now, a lot of people have a lot of unkind things to say about the teenagers of today, but you come to work it out. 50 years ago, a man used to sing to his girlfriend. He didn't use any physical energy. He just had the love light in his eyes, and he sang... Come into the garden, Maud. And Maud used to go into the garden. And then Maud's mum used to worry. Because 20 years before, she'd been in the same garden. There's no need to worry about the teenagers of today, because when a kid sings to his girl today, he sings, Don't say a park here, Maud, who lives, who lives, who... When he gets in the garden, he hasn't got the energy, has he? <laughs> Two. We used to have stars, singers who sung a Dixie melody, now they're buying guitars. Blinkety plug, tagging themselves with three chords only once. We dance from 12 to 3. I've got news for Elvis, me things ain't what they used to. Did the lot we used to. Things ain't what they used to be. Live up, 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 Right, that's my three minutes. What are we going to do now? <laughs> well, what about doing something together? Well, I've got an idea. You know, you've seen these acts on television. They come out and they get puppets and they impersonate people. Mm -hmm. I thought it would be a good idea if we impersonated puppets. Oh, yes? What had you in mind? Well, you've seen those thin little spindly things on television. They call themselves the Trio Grandioso. Oh, yes. Well, looking at you, I think we ought to do Pinky and Perky. <laughs> All right? Ah, bless you. Do me up. Tell some jokes to cover the time. Do me? <laughs> <laughs> you get slung out if I do. <laughs> Little boy came home from school. He said, Mum, all the kids at school say I'm a three-headed monster. His mother said, Now, now, you mustn't worry. <laughs> Then there was a Chinese girl who christened her baby. What went wrong? <laughs> Man laying in bed, three o'clock in the morning. Suddenly the phone rang. He said, hello. No, you've got the wrong number. Try the Admiralty. His wife said, who was it? He said, some fool asked me if the coast was clear. I'll bet we'll be in trouble with a rabbi tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Good I thought it was funny. Sammy Davis wouldn't talk to us. <laughs> There's not a lot of difference, is there? <laughs> ah! <laughs> right. Thank you. 